don't miss any content, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Welcome to Sahara Football once again. I'm going to bring you updates on Ghana's opponents for the next AFCON qualifier. The AFCON qualifier will take place next month in the international break. There will be two games that will be played. Ghana will take on South Africa and also they will take on South Tome and Principe. I'm also going to give you updates on Joseph Edu. He has been nominated for the player of the month for Celta Vigo and the CAF Confederations Cup player of Kumasi Asante Kotoko versus FC San Pedro. We have the ticket prices in case you are interested in going to watch Kumasi Asante Kotoko in Kumasi Babaira Sports Stadium. As usual, if you are new to the channel, I advise you to subscribe to this channel and to click on the notification bell to get more updates. So, we all know I brought you a video here telling you about the draw for the AFCON 2021 qualifiers that will take place next month now two games will take place next month in ghana this group has been set after the playoff was done over this international break unfortunately ghana did not take part in any of the games for the inter during the international break and it's quite interesting to see how ghana would line up against south africa who they are going to meet in the qualifiers it's 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 quite interesting but the ghana black stars will take on south africa in the opener here in ghana before traveling to south tome and principe now south tome and principe made it to this round by beating mauritius in the qualifier they beat them on aggregate 5-2 now south tome will join ghana south africa and sudan in group c to battle for the two slots for the flagship tournament in cameroon that's afcon 2021 now south tome and principe have booked a place in the 2021 african cup of nations qualification group stages and will be in the same group with ghana now sao tome impressively beat mauritius 2-1 on sunday to advance 5-2 on aggregate the portugal based marcos barberios gave the falcons parrots the lead before captain luis leo added the second now sao tome are joining ghana south africa and sudan in group c to battle for the two slots in the afcon tournament the black stars will travel to sao tome a week after hosting south africa in the opener ghana's last qualifying fixture will be against sao tome at home in november next year so the, the the fixtures are set the ghana black stars who have not been in action for a while for three of the friendlies international friendlies they could have had three international friendlies by now the future of coach chris Apia is still in doubt we are a limo on that also so many other issues concerning the black stars future of good Christian Pia, the technical staff what decisions have been made by the normalization committee hopefully after the gfa elections are held on the october 25th we will have a better structure of the ghana football association and the ghana black stars coaching job will be clarified by the normalization committee which will be gone and the new gfa body which will be established and hopefully this limbo kind of foot thing that is happening no friendlies for the black stars players to see which players are up to it to see which players that will be playing against south africa next month will be eliminated so that's it the ghana black stars will face south africa next month next international break in november they will face south africa then a week later they will face south tome and principe so that is it there with the afcon 2021 qualifiers the playoff are set all of the groups know their group members and who they are going to face for that tournament let me know what you think will happen to ghana in this qualifier they haven't played a friendly in three international breaks will that affect them your thoughts are welcome in the comments box i move on to my next story and it's about ghana player he's a former gang player he moved to celta vigo this summer and he is in the person of joseph edu he was in gang with joseph painso and joseph edu has been nominated as player of the month for celta vigo he has been nominated for that top award for the celta vigo and it's not surprising he's shown so much promise 24 year old who was with belgian side gang and he is the ghana defender he made his afcon debut this year in 2019 he played against guinea bissau in that 2-0 win where jordan grabbed caught a goal and thomas party ahead as well now ghana defender joseph edu is up for celta vigo's player of the month award for september the 24 year old was nominated alongside goalkeeper ruben blanco and midfielder fran beltran 
former gang guards man has been a stalwart for the sky blues since joining the club in the summer the 24 year old has played in seven matches for celta vigo this season he kept some clean sheets in those games and hopefully joseph edu will get that top bong and be named player of the month for celta vigo to my final story and it has to do with kumasi asante kotoko ukuma pema apemba kumasi asante kotoko opponents for the confederations cup playoff is fc san pedro of ivory coast now the ticket sales have been announced but if you want to watch a preview of kumasi asante kotoko versus fc san pedro it's up here you can watch it now fc san pedro will come to the babaira sports stadium initially it was announced that kumasi asante kotoko would have to play their games at the Accra sports stadium or another venue because of renovation works for at the babaira sports stadium now the babaira sports stadium will be open for them and they will be in action against fc san pedro in the first leg that's taking place on october 27th we all know what happened in the champions league they couldn't make the group stages and Sahel du sahel rallied back after that 2-0 loss here in kumase and they punished kumase at santa kotoko 3-0 and progressed to the group stages of the CAF champions league and many comments followed Zeto Zekarayasen has been under scrutiny but clarification has come that Zeto Zekarayasen is still the Kumasi Asante Kotoko manager and he has the full support of management. So Kumasi Asante Kotoko have announced the ticket prices for their game of between the CAF Confederations Cup player first leg encounter with Ivorian club FC San Pedro at the Babaira Sports Stadium. The porcupines are hoping to make amends to their CAF Champions League failure after losing out to Etoile du Sahel, making it to the money zone of the continental second tier competition, which is the Confederations Cup. According to the information we are picking, management of the club took their decision to announce the gate fees two weeks before the game so as to give the fans enough time to prepare themselves financially for the game against FC San Pedro. Now the game will kick off at 3 p.m. GMT on the 27th of October. Mark it in your calendar. The prices are popular stand is 15 Ghana CDs. Center line is 20 Ghana CDs. VIP is 50 Ghana CDs. So that is it there with Comercia Santa Gotoko. They are preparing in NS for their game against FC San Pedro off ivory coast if you want to know a lot about ic san pedro ivory coast just click on this video up here right above me and you could have watch a video where we detail ic san pedro who they are their record and kotoko's chances of beating fc san pedro in the calf confederations cup playoff can kumasi asante kotoko make it to the group stages will they falter once again your guess is as good as mine but let me know your thoughts in the comments Box. I've been talking today about Ghana's Black Stars opponent for the AFCON 2021. Sao Tome and Principe beat Mauritius 5 2 on aggregate and they have made it into Ghana's group. Group C. Ghana will face South Africa before traveling to face Sao Tome and Principe in the next international break that will be in November. I've also been talking to you about Joseph Edu being nominated for the player of the month for Celta Vigo as well as Kotoko announcing their ticket prices for their game against FC San Pedro. I'll see you guys in the next one. Let me know your thoughts on everything. Enjoy your week. Have a great day. Thank you.